Hey, this is Phil from Southeast Irrigation Supply. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the hygroscopic discs on a Rainbird WR2 rain sensor. Uh, if your rain sensor has not been working well and is more than a few years old, the most likely cause is that the, the discs are old, weathered, and they've lost their expansion and contraction ability. I have these replacement discs for sale on my eBay store, and there will be a link to it in the video description section and also at the end of the video. This is a very easy fix. It can be done without tools and you can save hundreds of dollars from not having to call an irrigation repairman to come out and fix it. So here's the sensor and most likely this is going to be attached to your gutter or the wall on the side of your house and it's got a little cup that holds the rain sensor on and so what you need to do is get up on a ladder and the easiest thing to do is just pop this piece out right here. It comes straight out and it could be in e either one of these holes but it just snaps right in and snaps right out. So this will be, you will leave that on the gutter or the side of your house. Um, so we'll put that aside. So bring this back into your house or into your garage and this is what you have left is the sensor. So to get the discs out, and here's the, uh, the, the sample discs that we're going to be replacing. So to get this out now, it says right here on the top to remove, twist, and pull. And so there's two tabs, one there and one there. And what you're going to do is just twist it till the tabs pop in and then pull it straight off. And so now you've got the cap with the discs and you can put the rain sensor aside. So to get this out now, this is very simple. You just pull that straight out and you have a little barbed spindle right here with these discs. Now this is a brand new sensor so these discs are very clean. Um, if your sensor is at more than two years old your discs won't look like this. They will be grayed, they'll be weathered, there might be spider webs in there or mold or mildew or all kinds of other stuff. So what you do when you get to this point take these di old discs off and the new discs that you bought from me you can just put them right back on. There's actually going to be seven of these discs. Um, these are a little thinner than the stock Rainbird discs that you just pulled off of your sensor. So as you can see, these seven discs right here is about equal to the same height as the six that you pulled off that are old and gray and weathered. So once you get these new discs on, this is a good opportunity to maybe clean out this because this is going to be all cruddy and you know dirty and old so if you want to run this under a faucet or something like that that's great maybe get an old toothbrush and clean out any uh, you know bugs or spider webs that are in there um, don't submerge this under water um, but since it is out in the rain all time all the time it's okay to run it under your faucet so you got your new discs on here, you take your cap, just pop that right back in so it's hanging in there. Put your mounting cup back on and then you just want to line up the, the hole in the cap with the barb right there. And oops, that turned the right way and it pops right on. So there you go, you have replaced the discs in your rain sensor, cleaned it out take it back up on the ladder or wherever it's mounted, pop it back into your gutter clip or your wall clip and you're good to go. So that's it. It's an easy fix. It'll have your rain sensor working like new. Uh, leave a comment on this video if you have any questions or ask me a question through eBay messages. Thanks for watching.